Hello, I'm Johnny and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do some sketching from this uh, book that I recently purchased. How to Draw Mythical Creatures by Mark McBride. Um, I've looked through and I've already done one. I'll show you that just now. But um, I think this is a bit too complex for me. <laughs> I mean, he just show you the uh, basic shapes and um, step by step follow through. But when you get to the end of it, then you've got all this detail to do. And I am no good at detail. Yes, yeah, so I was flicking through and they all look uh, really complex. So um, I decided on this one. It's called, I don't know how to pronounce it. Pirate Oster. It says Pirate Oster is a dragon like insect, extremely rare. It's one of the it is the one creature in this book that may in fact be real. They're all real in my opinion. It has been known to borrow things such as pencil sharpeners and erasers. They mostly forget to give them back for some time until finally returning them to the original place from which they went missing. That sounds like Ziggy to me. Or oh, my Maggie Magpie. Uh, yes, and I mean, it does look complicated, but I really do like it. And I'll probably end up changing its body like I have done the other one. But this is the... Um, Basic step by step, starting from shapes and building up to more detail. Well, let's see if I can do that. But this is the one that I've tried out. Um, it seemed to be on my level. Where are you? The, and I don't know how to pronounce that either. Cherry Bidis. Cherry Bidis. Don't know. Anyway, it reminds me of the creature from the Black Lagoon. So I started sketching that out. And this is what I come up with. Let's see, where is it? There. I started doing the head. That was complicated. I didn't want it to make it look really vicious like the picture. I wanted to give it some like... Not sharp teeth. Anyway, I just thought the way their body shape was gone, and I just quite like this, like a, a demon alien wasp fantasy creature thing. And yeah, so then I went over it with some tracing paper, because all those shapes and lines are confusing to me. And then I transferred it onto this paper. And I uh, removed the teeth completely and I just put this, um, it reminds me of, uh, I was going to put like a grabbing hand as if a hand comes out of its mouth. But that's like what, you know what flies do when they jump on food and uh, it's like a tongue or something and then they spit acid or something on the food on the so they can suck it up the tube. Yes, I added this. I mean, that was just a rough sketch bit that but um i'll look into that look at flies and see what it actually looks like and then i'll add the detail and i was thinking of uh really bright colors and spots you know like some of these frogs and snakes have got spots to scare animals away from eating them so i think he's going to be a very placid gentle creature but he's going to have all these um, marks and things on him to make him look more terrifying than what he is. And that would make for a good art doll also. So, let's see how we go. Oh, which page was it on? I mean... This is the most simplistic one to do, I, sh I think. Not the patterns on it, the detail, just the shape of it. But I didn't really want to do that. I wanted something a bit more challenging. So, yes, I will attempt to do that. Now, can I see it? Right. 
It might as well be a bit of a seahorse. So I just love looking at a blank sheet of paper. All the possibilities you can put on this. I love starting a new sketchbook. Yeah, that's just me going on. So should I do it towards uh I've been when I've been drawn I've been drawn in the middle but I suppose if you want to add anything else you can do it at the side so I will start in the middle um so this shape is the head of it so let's see so that's the head then the neck bit and the body try to see I don't want to go off the page so I think we'll start up here right so let me see now it has got a bit of a bend in it but i think i'm just going to go straight down i can always add that bend thing in later right i'm just going to do basic shapes a bit higher so i'm just going to go as a triangle well a funny looking triangle and uh, from here it went out a bit and then in to form that hmm. uh, when I am sketching I usually use a lighter coloured pencil but so you can see it and I'm just gonna check yes you can I'm using this darker black wing so then his spine goes should I, I used a longer pencil to do with this goes down and have I gone a bit too far but it doesn't matter we can correct it and there's the tail so this would be just these basic shapes for the Mm. where the lungs in that would go it's more like an insect so would you say a thorax there's a thorax there I haven't got a clue and this is a bigger shaped one and then this now I think I have made the tail a little bit too short or the body too long so look I'm using an eraser at the beginning already oh use me other one. Oh, oh, oh look scrumpled the paper how clumsy but it's only me sketch right so that comes along here and then curls under like that do you think yeah I think that's all right right then next stage so then there's like these little pebbly circly bits up here and what are they what do they form um, I think that shows I think the neck on the creature is a bit more bent than mine, but never mind. So then these, I assume these elongated bits are the tops of the arms. It has got arms, hasn't it? Yeah. It's got two arms and two... Oh. It's got two arms and then these two dangly legs and then some back legs. They're more like flippers. I suppose that helps it fly. Um, so yeah, there's the elongate, elongated, and then for the yeah, so it'll be like segments, like an insect, won't it? So this one can't really see that was up there, and this is down towards this segment of the body, but it looks much too far away. So this is the joint of the but look, I'll do it further up a bit. There. And just ignore that. And is there another one? So, 
This is one of its legs. There. And then its other. Oh, look, I'll have to look. I can't see that. That lower one's a leg. Um, I'm getting myself all confused, which doesn't take much. So, was it this one? No, it was the top one. The top one, is that like its arm? And then this one just goes down like so. Well. Yes, I think this looks a bit too complicated for me, but... There's the eye, the eye was level with that, um, let me see, hmm, if I go quiet I'm just concentrating. That looks so funny. Hmm. Is this book supposed to be for a beginner? If this is supposed to be aimed at kids, my God, now I can't even figure it out. Right, so then start to join the, the arms together. Let's see, that was a bit too, yeah, it would have looked after if it was right down there. And that goes out for that arm. Right. <sighs> so this is the leg. Well, he's done a bit thinner than that, but never mind. And then down like that. Just basic shapes, I'll figure it out later. Um, now the <coughs> its feet are level with the tail. So I will just do this shape for now. And this one goes in a bit like that. It's a peculiar looking creature anyway. I mean, I don't want it exact to his drawn. I want to put my own spin on it. So that's that segment of the leg. Then another segment of the leg. And then this segment. So, yes. So, it's got one, two segments. One, two, 
Well, that leg's only got two segments, and that's got three. Isn't that strange? Shouldn't they both have the same segments? Hmm. One, two, three, and that's just got... Well, that's strange. Well, who am I to make judgments? And that's the same as I've just got. That's got one, two. Maybe it's because it's bent. That's why you can see more segments. Because that one's bent and it's got three segments. And that's not bent and it's only got two. Yeah, that's where it'll be. So, where am I up to now? Then there's these antennae things sticking up here. And it's wings. Oh... Oh, I haven't added the neck bone things. Oh, well, he's just... I'm on to number four now. So he's added the segments in the neck. And there's three. But those are level with the arm things. So maybe I will just add a fourth in then. So it's level with that. So then he's got the wings. Have I left enough space for the wings? Probably not. I can do them shorter. The, and then this other wing comes from down here and bends a bit. And out. And then there's this other thing. It comes from here. And what's that? It looks like a long hair, but it's not. It's a thorn thing. Um, and then at the, he's done some more segments. One, two, three. Oh well, that's a bit too. But never mind. Just at that. And that is where the another thorn thing will come out. And then on the tail, he's done this shape like this. Reminds me of wasp's tail. And then there's like a shape over here. And then that goes forming the stinger. Um, let me see. So what I'll do is just the rough basic sketch and then I will stop the video and clean it up and show you what I've come up with. Because, um, hmm. So then this bit is like a horn. Reminds me of um, those little prickles on roses. And then he's got like this bit here and dangly things hanging out of its mouth. Might be a creature that he's eating, but I think it's like a hairy chin. Um. So then he's got the Form of the neck going down. What else has he added? The wings. So that's flicked up. So that forms the outside of the wing. So there. So that's the outside. So that goes up a bit further. And then... Just going to do a basic shape. I can always tidy these up later. And then this other one hanging down here. Right. He's added a bit more detail. So he's got this. 
going up here and around here. And then he's got this little bit with the spike summit sticking out there. And that's connected to that. Then he's got this overlapping thing here. I think I've done that on the thin side, but as I say, I can always correct it. Um, and these are like two long fingers. There. What next? There's a bit of a dangly thing hanging out of there. Oh, and then he's got these... Um, tendrils hanging like octopus legs from its neck bit um where was that thorn there this so this was like another thorn like spike thing not doing very well am I? <laughs> um it looks this looks nothing like that <laughs> but I am having fun so let's see so what is he oh 15% battery um and what more detail has he added on there that's different from that I think he's just defined uh, the shapes more to that and added a bit of texture in the wings and that I've been going on now for 21 minutes, so I've probably bored you already. So what I'm going to do is stop the video, polish this up a bit, and then come back and show you where I've gotten so far. Right, so I have uh, polished this up a bit. I've, um, what have I done? I've erased some of the lines that were very confusing to me and I've just defined the shapes. That's the word, isn't it? I've defined the shapes and then I traced it. When I trace over it, I do a lot of corrections, which helps me a lot. So then I traced it onto... <clears throat> This piece of paper, um, no details yet or colour. Um, as you can see, it's not exactly like uh, the picture. Um, nothing like it, in fact. But um, I am pleased with what I have sketched. Um, but this uh, book, I mean, it's really interesting and good, uh, but it's really difficult. So I don't think this should be for younger viewers. Because me as a child, I would really struggle with this. I got some uh, anime books in the past. I'll have to uh, get them out and sketch along with them. And um, a lot of people said that when they break it down and build it up, the sketch, and then it sort of jumps from just say this stage to the completed piece. So you've got to sort of figure the rest out yourself. But I think with more practice, I will be able to achieve this. But I prefer to do my own uh, sketches out my own head. But this is good for practice. Um, I don't know what else. I quite like the, uh, is it a sen sencho, centre, toe, whatever. Uh, there. I was going to give this a try, but I think that's just a bit too complex for me at the moment. Um, yes, yeah, so... Yeah, and I quite like this. I've been wanting to make um, an art doll, you know, a blue out of Jurassic Park. I mean, if I was to sketch this, I don't think I'd add all of these flown things on it. Um, and a phoenix. 
Um, looks more like a pterodactyl. I think I might attempt that, but I'll just do the its normal wings. I won't do all these flown things because that's very confusing to me. Um, don't know where else that I was. Might give him a go. Yes, but as I say, it is a really good book. I just struggled with it. Maybe you won't. You will just pick it up really easily. But um, for me, it's a bit of a challenge. Right then. So, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope um, you've learned something. Probably not, but it was fun anyway. Um... Thank you for watching. Johnny signing out. See you bye.